it's a beautiful morning and this is a really brief video just to remind myself more than anything else but when you're investigating stuff uh, it's useful to pass the information on this is a power bike and it's obviously been abused quite a lot otherwise I wouldn't have got it now yeah so it's got no battery and one of the initial faults was once I put the chain back on because it's a derailleur was that um, it would be all right but it was quite notchy and that was because there was areas of rust on the chain so I had to wiggle the chain and then oil it all and then work it through but uh, occasionally the chain would leap off and I worked out that was when I was freewheeling so it turned out that the freewheeling hub in the rear chain set yes there were, it was a bit sticky so I just poured some oil down we'll just go and have a look so I laid the bike on its side and poured some oil down you can't probably can't see it but just down in there that's where the bearings are there's a little open area and there's of course the ratchet in the back there but as you can see it now ratchets backwards all right it was it was sort of locking and occasionally leaping the chain off all right but that's that sorted and then of course the next thing was zoom out a bit there's the controller now somebody's been in there they snapped some bits off so it didn't bode well but anyway the first thing to do was now just in there are the battery connections so this white thing here sits over those pins like that he's screwed in place so all you see is these little brass bits sticking up well given that somebody's not bothered to undo these screws and just rip it, this off there's the controller in its housing it takes a little bit of time initially to get the controller out of there but I did I just eased it out and there we are now can we see let's just zoom down a bit we have a red there and a black there okay so the red when I use the multimeter let's do it so I've got the multimeter there and that red one there goes to these way there we go these here so these are red ones now I couldn't I can't remember which one that one goes up there so one of these it's not that one So let's try that one. So the positive terminal is on your right hand if you're sat on the bike. So we've worked that out so we can safely attach some power. So this is a bit of a strange affair and there's this connector here which goes up to the uh, the throttle and that was disconnected so we'll pop that back in but however when I attached some power I still couldn't get it to work but this is just so that if you're investigating these are the first few things that that I learnt 
So this big socket comes off and it's got the positive and the negative and the output. Now the output is a bit weird. These four cables here are the output and you think how very strange but they're in pairs. Now it's a bit weird so one lot's the positive and one lot's the negative so don't get confused about that and I'll show you where they go. They go down to one black covered cable but I'll show you where they actually end up. So there's that cable coming down from the controller comes down the back of the leg there down there to the motor and the motor has got two wires so it's a brushed DC motor it's got a black and a red wire but I thought what is this little box here I've taken the screws out it's just a connector and when you ease that back you can just about see all the multi-colours so the cables are in pairs from that controller so there's no sensor in here or anything like that it's just the connector and another weird thing about this particular bike is where are we? think we can see. This is a crank sensor. There's a sensor there and there's a cable there but it's been chopped off and in the back of this disc it feels like there are some magnets. Yeah and, the, and it's a little sensor there that just bolts in place but for some reason somebody's chopped it off. I don't know whether they were trying to make this into a uh, just a a non-pedal assist but anybody who's got any um, further information about this that would be great but um, otherwise I'm just putting it out there for other people to learn so comment please especially any real life experience on these things but it's an aluminium frame so it's quite light so hopefully we might get this together and it will be uh, a grand little thing. Catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.